Oh, great. Now I get a 2690. Lovely. Whoa, thanks so much, Matt Davis Poker, for the five gifted subs. Thanks so much, Matt Davis. Appreciate it. Thank you. I didn't play particularly bad. Yeah, but it's like a lot of evening title Tuesdays. Generally, like, I, I just think too long. It, it seems to be like, it's actually like, it feels like every Tuesday. Like, the morning one, I'm pretty fine. But the evening one, I'm always getting low on time every game. I think it's because, like, I'm just tired. I'm trying to play perfect chess and all these other things come into play. And it is what it is. Let's go here and trade. Here's C5. Because on C5, I think there's C4. Yeah, okay. Now I just develop the knight. So I'll go here to hit the bishop, maybe. Go here. Force a trade to the queens. Maybe not. I don't know. C4, I've got queen a6, so I'm still fine. And now it's like I'm moving too fast. Now, now I'm moving too fast and missing things. It's like a fine balance. Like you move too fast, you move too slow. Like it's very, very tricky. Tough balance. Okay, trades the queens. I'm very happy. To, oh, I don't really want to play this, but I think I have to. I guess I'll go here. He's got double pawns. Hard to judge. But I mean, he's 2690, so I mean, I should be able to win this. If I can't win this, it's my own problem. I'm going to go A5. It looks kind of weird, but I want to play like... Okay, but now I can reroute the knight to C6, maybe. I also have rook B8, B5 somewhere. Who's C4? I'm actually very happy to see that move. Or am I? Wait, no, he's got... No, no, I am happy to see it. Because if he goes E4, I take... And I also have knight to b4 with the bastion. And also the diamond hands formation too. I kind of want to go g I kind of want to go f6. I kind of want to castle. I kind of want to do everything. So I'm just going to castle. Before I get stuck in no man's land. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably going to try to attack on the king's side too. Like I think now I'm going to get aggressive here. With h5 at some point. Takes. So I've got H5 here, which is a big threat. I think I'm going to go H5 right away. Because takes, I just take and take. It goes H3. So now I've basically gotten what I wanted. Take with a pawn. Now the H file is potentially opening. I should be better here, but am I... Why didn't I take with the bishop, by the way? I missed something. Hopefully he doesn't see it. Shoot, he did see it. What the heck? Back. Maybe I have knight before or something. <laughs> takes takes knight four rook h two. And three takes takes can be three takes. I'll go for this check rook h two. Funny thing is I, oh no, rook h8 doesn't work, so. So I take. I've really messed this up too, what the heck. How did I mess this one up too? go here I've got rook b2 I also have like I'm gonna go for this maybe here maybe yes I got him Yes. <sighs> wow. 
Wow, I'm not playing well. <sighs> okay, wait, I've rookie... Now, now I know that I'm winning, so I'm up a lot of time to start thinking. I've rook g4, rook e7. Both are playable. Rook to e7 looks correct, just to hit the pawn. And now I take, and now I just trade, and this should be winning. Another not so good game, but we'll get the win. <laughs> I just take, not takes a b4. Okay, we got the win. Five out of six. Not a good game, but it's a win. It's a win. A win is a win, as they say. A win is win. But it's not... It was not good. If you played King D3 instead of King E3, I would not have won that game. It was large Parham. He's playing Jospam. Or he's playing Gandivam. And he is... Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Probably going to be a draw. Oh, that Wonder Kid is not playing? I, I've never heard of him. Who even is he? Seriously, I've never heard of him. Like, who is he? His name is Yamaz? Okay. Or Yagiz? I don't know. Twitch is la lagging today. I do know that. Like, uh, Twitch has struggled. It's been struggling. No, he's gonna be very good though. He's gonna be he's gonna be a twenty six hundred plus GM. Like he's gonna be very good. His name is John Cena. No, that's not his name. I'm sorry. Rookie six maybe ninety five takes 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 takes. Probably just a draw here. Takes. Probably a draw. It's too late, too late in Turkey. He needs to go to school. Also probably true. Still tricky here. Check. Ah, you've got some kind of weird draw, I think, with the king and the rook. King e2. Rook g, uh, rook g5 draws, too. Yeah, it's still a draw. Just... Wait, king b3? Oh, no. Parham blundered. He got cut off on the fourth. Parham blundered. He had to go rook g3 and takes, and it was a draw. And now he's going to lose the game because the king is cut. You just go rook h5. The king is cut laterally, and this is a win for white. You run around. B5 wins. B5 and... Oh, man. Parham. Wait, rook c... No. No, no it's just winning. King b4, king a5. So, yeah. Arjun will win this game. He's just going to walk the king up the board. It's 5 a.m. in India, yeah, but I mean, these guys are all professional players. Thank you, Nate Silver, for the 32 month reset. Thanks so much, Nate Silver. All right. What happened to the Rapid and Blitz, by the way? Let's see. What Rapid and Blitz, we had one draw and a bunch of games still going. Wesley's game is going to be a draw, so we're going to have two draws. Nepo, man. Nepo is going to save. What the heck? Nepo is going to survive after being lost on move like 12 against Fabiano. What the heck? Fabiano messed this up. Oh, come on, Fabi. What is this? Wow. Wow. Fabi was winning on, like, move 15. Wow. Jeez. Big yikes. So, that'll be three draws. And then Robson versus Sevian. Weird position. Not sure what's going on. But, yeah. All right. Let's go back. Uh, round should be starting pretty soon. What a... What insane. Just insane. Okay. Bobby is washed up, I doubt it. But I'm just shocked that he didn't win. I mean, it's it, he was winning on, like, move 12 in, like, a serious game. Oh, D3 wins? Wow. Queen C1, mate! Oh, Queen C1 was mate and won! Uh, Queen C4? E4? Check. What? What? What was that? Ew. Ew, what was that? Okay. All 
Okay, let's go. Oh my god, I'm playing Danya here? Really? Wow. <sighs> let's play... Oh, uh, let's play D4. Something standard. Danya? I get Danya on 5 out of 6. That's a very un unfortunate pairing. Okay, which one do I want to play? I'm going to play this old line. I do a B4 here, which I think is correct. Oh, wait, no, B4 hangs upon. What am I doing? Wake up, wake up, wake up. What am I doing? Let's go here. I was about to play B4 and just hang hang the game. Ugh. That would have been really bad. Go C6. Okay, now I should play F3 and Knight G5, of course. I do have B... Oh, no, I don't have B4 because Knight A4. I'll play queen d2 here. I want to go b4 somewhere. It's queen a5. Uh, I somebody just castle. Oh, I should have played rook b1 too. Yeah, I keep messing up. Uh, rook b1 was the obviously correct move there. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, what am I doing? Now, do I take is also a question, but I... So, I might just go here. <sighs> I'm also double clutching, it feels... Do I have B4 here is a question. Wait, B4, Knight C4, Fe4, Queen C7. I guess I'll just... Um... Take with a bishop or the pawn. Not an obvious decision. I think I'll take with a pawn. Not really sure whether this is correct or not, but I think it's correct. I just assume that if he ever goes f5, I take. Not 100% sure that I'm doing this correctly, but I think it's okay. Okay, Dan is really thinking here, which tells me that he's a little bit uncomfortable with the position. It was 94. I can play B4. That was my initial intention. Um, yeah, I think B4 must be correct. To hit the queen. Do I have some B5 trick here is also a question. Um, there, rook a2, rook a1. It's also rook c1. I'm trying to figure out, it just takes queen d3. This is seven, rook fc1. <sighs> okay, let's just take. I guess I'll play rook fc1. I'm not even sure. I'm wondering about B5, but I think this is fine. Maybe I could have grabbed, but I think it's way too risky to grab. It's queen D7. Oh, do I B5 now, maybe? Wait, B5, rook C1, queen C1. Wait, B5, rook C1, queen C1, rook C8, queen D... I'm gonna go for it. I think Daniel blundered here. I think he made a mistake. Well, blundered is too strong, so it's not clear. I also actually could have taken on a7. Why didn't I just take the pawn on a7? It's a free pawn. This might work, but I think that was a mistake. I think what I did was not precise. I'm still better, but of course I take. Of course I take. The key here is to not mess this up and give him counterplay, but how do I actually do that is a much bigger question. 
Like, Rook C6 is the move that I want to play, but it's... Okay, how do I do this thing, thing, thing? I'm thinking... What? Why am I thinking so long? Somewhere? Again, like, here we go with me. Why am I thinking so long? Somewhere? I think I'm just going to go here. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can feel like I'm, I'm already starting to drift in this game. I'm very happy, very lucky. I'm not lucky, but happy. I've got a pawn here. Oh, he's got queen a two. What the heck? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably gonna flub this game. <sighs> Why can't I come with a move here? What the heck is wrong with me? No, I win. He's just dominated. You gonna resign or not? Yeah, there we go. Thanks so much to E. Car for the win for the 27 months. Thanks so much for the resub, you guys. Shaky game. Very shaky game. My time usage not particularly good, but we get the win. So we got the win. Move to six out of seven, and we keep moving forward. Yeah. Thanks so much to, uh, th thank you so much to, um, uh, E. Car for the win for the 27. I appreciate it. He didn't have chances to win the game necessarily, but he had a chance to save the game for sure. I mean, I got, like, I was so slow. I don't know why I was so slow. Like, somewhere around here. Yeah, why didn't I, I knew I was supposed to take with the queen. I took with the rook like a moron, because if I take with the queen, the, all the bishops stay on the board here, and this is just an easy win for me. But I go here, and now it's still winning, but, like, once I don't play queen a5, it gets very tricky. Like, this maybe is winning, but it's not easy. Yeah. Ah, oh, I was supposed to go f4 here. Uh, I had the right concept, but wrong sequence. I was supposed to go f4 here. Uh, uh, queen f2 is a draw, yeah. I, I knew there was something, but once he goes here... Yeah, it's just bad, I think. Here... Oh, rookie seven's winning, apparent. Wait, why is this winning? Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't understand chess anymore. Jeez. I'm supposed to sack the rook. Okay, that's like... That's a bit much. That's a bit much. If I go here... Oh, f5 is wrong again? What? Oh, GFEF, bishop d8, it's not easy. Wow. I need a star no uh, star-nosed mole for the two thing to Renzo for the prime. Okay. Wow. Eight hours of stream, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, after eight hours, I'm going to see that. Well, I mean... Yeah, that's what it is. Thank you, Rock Boy RD Poker for the eight months. Thank you so much to Rock Boy RD Poker. Appreciate it. Thank you for the resub. Thank you. Love, let's get together and be all right. Okay. 
Love one life. I beat Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Magnus would see it maybe. I don't know after eight hours if he would, but still. Yeah. Twitch has been a bit weird today. I mean, Twitch has been... Everything's been a little bit weird today. So, yeah. But keep going, you guys. We keep rolling. Keep rolling. Um, five ads in a row. Oh, I missed the end. Sorry, you guys. Welcome to Twitch. Welcome to Twitch. Parham lost. Uh, he lost a previous round. I don't know if he lost. Actually, where is Parham? Oh, did he just lose another game? He might have. Okay, I guess is Paro. Who's this? 2870. I've never heard of this, bro. Whoa, whoa. Uh, let's play E3 again. I, I Maybe I should play G3. It's a little bit more standard, but whatever. Who's G6? Okay, so... Can trade... Uh, I'm going to go for this one. This is what I played against Shakhryar Mamadyarov in the um, uh, Norway Chess Armageddon. Maybe I should take on C5. I don't know. Whatever. Go here and just castle, maybe. I think I'm going to take here and try to reroute my knights. Like, maybe like here in 94, maybe 91, 93. Go here. I'm gonna try to reroute the knights. Basically, I'm gonna play a game of D's knights. Who's there? Which I don't actually understand. Um, I'll go here. Knight of four, maybe. This looks a little bit dubious for my opponent. Kind of. If I'm being gonna be completely honest. I had knight of four first, which was actually just better. But all right, let's go. I guess here. Put the rooks on D one, C one. Play in the middle of the board. Do I double stack or do I play? I think I should go Rook C1. I don't know if I should double stack or not. I'm very unsure. I just maybe want C4, maybe Knight F4. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dangerous. It's a good song considering how deep into the stream I am. It's a good song. Pump me up. Thank you to refreeze for the nine months. Okay, I'll go here, of course, with the bishop. Mm. Woo, woo, woo. Hmm. I could play knight d4 here. Yeah, I think I'll play knight d4. I don't love knight d4, but knight d1... Actually, knight d1 was probably just better. Why did I... Why did I do this? It was completely unnecessary. Knight d1 was much better to pressure the pawn. I'm still much better, though, I think. The pre-move. I'm way, way, way up on clock. He's got a bad pawn, too. How do I win this is the question. I don't really want to trade, but I think trading is good, actually. With, like, rook c1 here. Woo, woo, woo. It's not easy to win this position, though. I, I Actually, now that I look at it, it's very hard to win this. I'm not even sure why I did this, honestly. I'm much better, but it's not going to be easy to win. I don't have enough pieces on the board. That's the problem here. It was a five, which looks very wrong to me. I need to set up something on the queen side. I also have a a trois. No, a trois is no. Uh, a trois is a move, but I don't think it's good. Let's play queen c one.
Wait, did he trap his queen? He trapped his queen. He trapped his queen. Oh, oh no, he's got queen b5. Oh no, what am I smoking? Oh no, what am I smoking? He's got queen b5. Oh no, wait, no, I have knight b7 or q7 bishop f1. No, no, okay. It's... It should be okay. I didn't see queen b5 at all, but as in typical fashion, I've got a miracle knight b7 and then bishop f1. Uh, bishop for queen seems like a poor trade to me. I don't know. Bishop for a queen doesn't really seem like an adequate trade. Yeah, I don't know what that was. He had queen b5, but I, I have knight b7. I didn't actually see queen. I didn't even see queen b5. But I have knight b7, forking the bishop of the rook here, and then bishop f1, and the queen gets trapped anyway. No squares. So... We get the win, seven out of eight. We keep moving forward. I, I played very, very fast in that game too. So let's see who's still playing. Gandy Bam is playing against Krakazoia. Let's see who wins this one. It's looking pretty good for uh, Arjun here. The Bishop is way stronger than a Pokemane. Maybe. Yeah. He's in disbelief on stream. So yeah, he's probably in disbelief. <laughs> At least like, what did I just do? Like, why did I do that? Computer wants rook g3 and says white's winning. Very, very tricky move to play, I guess. Well, maybe not, because once you see the king's safe here, you can just go after the mates. No, now it's a draw. Wait, why did Arjun do that? Now it's just a draw. It's just a draw. Check, check. Yo-yos. Okay, it's probably very good for my chance to win the tournament that this is a draw. I'm so fascinated by you, Carter. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, rook g3 was actually just easily winning. Magus is not playing. He's, um... He's playing the European Team Championship right now. Yeah, I've had some really tough pairings, actually. Some, like, really tough pairings. Chess is so much harder when you actually try to play it yourself. I, I know, you guys. It's the same thing as when I play Fortnite. I, 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 I used to watch Tifu all the time and Cypher as well. I watched both of them a lot when they played Fortnite. I'd, like, watch them get all pumped up, really excited, ready to play. I, I go, I boot, boot up the game, I play, and then I'm wondering, like, wait, why am I not able to hit these headshots? Why am I not just, like, 10 kills every game? Like, what's wrong with me? Of course, it's, it's that way for every game that you watch on Twitch. You watch, it's like, ah, it's so easy when you watch someone else. And you try to do the same thing, and somehow it doesn't quite work out the same way. It's very annoying. It's, it's very, very annoying. when It's like you, you watch, you get all pumped if you're ready to go, and then whether it's chess, Fortnite, whatever it is, you're like, wait a second. Why can't I do the same thing? <laughs> it's true, though. You, you guys know it's true. It's definitely true. I've played Fortnite quite a few times. I played Fortnite on stream yesterday, actually, on kick, and I, I, got, a, I got a battle. I got a victory royale. So. All right, let's see who's still playing. We have a couple of people still playing. I don't know what's going on in this game. Wild game. Things are it's bro war for the prime. Things are it's bro war. So basically, there's only one guy on seven and a half, which is Arjun. I'm probably gonna have to play Arjun in round nine. Of silence. So, all right. How often do you run? Uh, not super frequently. When Hikaru said he plays Fortnite when he gets bored of chess, he wasn't lying. Of course it's true, obviously. Fortnite's easily my favorite game after Genshin Impact. Yeah, I mean, my three three games that I like the most are um, chess, um, chess, uh, chess, Genshin Impact, and of course, uh, Fortnite. Yeah. Okay, this game's completely messed up. I don't know what's going on. Okay, Amin's going to win the game. Okay, so. Uh, Marvel Snap is pretty good, too. Yeah, Marvel Snap is not bad, either. I like Marvel Snap. What do you think of the game Go or Nine Men's North? I don't know what that means. Parham's playing a dead draw position against who? Parham. Parham is playing... Okay, it's just a dead draw, rook a4. Why is this guy so low on time, by the way? Rook a4, move. <laughs> the 
this move? Like, okay, I mean, this is ridiculous. Although Parham could still win the pawn here. I think he will win the pawn. Move, dude. Who is this guy, by the way? Why is he so slow? Oh, he's an FM. That's why. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't even know what to say. Thank you to AKD for the 34-3 BD -B claim. I, I don't even know what to say. Okay, so this game's over. Okay, so we're on the six-minute break, you guys. I'm going to go use the restroom very quickly. We'll be back, and we're in the home stretch. Three more games to go, so I'll be right back. All right, you guys, we're back. Okay, seven out of eight. My tiebreaker um, is not so not so great. Thoughts on kick after about six months? I've been on kick much longer than that, actually. I've been on kick um, April, May, June, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. We're basically in December, so almost nine months. Um, thank you, Stai Gander, for the three months. Thank you so much, eight, eight for Uwu for the uh, Prime. Um, I guess if you were to ask me generally what I think, I mean, I think it's still pretty early in the game. I, I, I don't think Kick is going anywhere. Obviously, they've, they've made some, uh, some deals recently. Obviously, Nick Merckx being the most prominent one. So I, I think Kick is still pretty early, but I think what they're doing is good for the industry. And I think they're going to be around for quite a while. And we'll see, we'll see where it goes. So, yeah. Okay. And also for everybody who's watching, you just got nine ads. And on Kick, there are zero ads, no ads on Kick. Uh, I'm not gonna multi-stream. The reason I can't is because of copyright on YouTube specifically, so I can never do that. That's the that's the that's the point. Okay, next round should be starting pretty soon. So, all right. Nimzo Larson, uh I'm gonna get black next time. I think I just had two whites in a row, which is kinda nice. It's very nice to get white against Daniel specifically because Daniel probably would have forced to draw if, if I if I was uh, black. So yeah, all right, let's go. Next round should be starting pretty soon. Only one person on seven and a half. I assume I'm gonna play Arjun. Two more until win number sixty. I don't know how many. No, I won my last two. I lost to um. Vita and company are getting 250k. Yeah, they, they each get 80k for the candidates. Uh, 80k for Vaishali for the women's candidates, and of course Vita and Prague with 80k themselves for the for the men's event. Hikaru is the only stream I don't close when I get nine ads in a row. Nice. So yeah, let's keep going. All right. Next game should be starting pretty soon. I don't know when, but pretty soon, I would think. You. Okay. I assume I play Arjun. Um, assume I'm playing Arjun next game. I think I have to win. I, th I think I have to win if I want to have any chance of winning. Because even a draw is going to get me nothing. So I'm going to go all in. Thank you so much to Jay Merck for the tier one. Thank you to Jay Merck. Appreciate it. All right. I get black against Gandhi. That's not ideal. Um... Let's play, let's play a Slav. I'm curious to see what he has against a Slav. Oh, shoot. He can just make a draw? Oh, I forgot that he could just try to make a draw. Oh, I'm an idiot for doing... Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. He can just try to force a draw. Oh, I'm such an idiot for playing this. I forgot that he could just play the exchange Slav and try to force a draw. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. I'm gonna offer him a draw. Okay, it goes queen c2. So now I think what I'm supposed to play is knight c6 back. Yeah, I completely forgot that you could try to force a draw here.
This is not, by the way, the most precise way of playing this, but I'm kind of trying to play this a little bit on the edge here. Um, can go here. If he takes, I've got knight d4. I mean, he can obviously just play bishop e2, I suppose, but whatever, it's chess. Wow, I was thinking for a long time here. Interesting. Okay, I think the game's gonna be decided right here. I think he's probably gonna, oh no, he doesn't take. I thought he was gonna take on d5 actually. Okay, so wait, so if I go e6, queen b7's not a move. Um, e6, knight e4 takes and bishop b4 looks fine. I could have traded knights first, but I think this is correct, so I have bishop b4. I'll pre-move this with bishop d4 incoming if he should trade. I don't think he will trade, but he could. Yeah, he goes bishop d3. I expected that. But wait, now I've got knight a5. Wait a second, wait a second. Now I've got knight a5 to hit the queen. Wait, I'm a little bit confused here. Wait. Can't I go here and hit the pawn and takes, takes, and back? Wait a second. Ah, uh, he's got bishop c7 or something. I'm a little confused. I don't know what's going on here. I mean, I assume I'm fine here. I've got like... I've got to be very precise with how I do this, though. Um, like, f6 is fine. Can you actually, f6 gives him bishop b5, I realized. I can go d4, but I think what I should do is I, I can trade. I guess I'll just take and go, like, king e7 and maybe bishop c6. I, I should be better with the two bishops and specifically with the two pawns for the rook. Is rook d1 logical? I don't really want to play bishop c6. I can also play e5. g6 is a move. Knight c6 also a move. I'm just going to go g6 here. That's a good move. I could play bishop a4. I think I misplayed this just a little bit. Yeah, I misplayed this suddenly. <sighs> and I'm thinking too long as well, naturally. So I'm trying to play some perfect game here. Yeah, he goes rook b1, I go rook b8, of course. I still should be better with the two bi bishops, though. I really should be. Um, okay, don't blunder here. He just wants to go a5. Why am I so slow? Let's just go f5. Of course, I'm blundering again. Now, what am I doing? I'm too slow. Why am I so slow every game suddenly? Yeah, I'm just so slow. I don't know why.
Like, I can feel like I'm about to make some massive blunder, too. Yeah, it goes there. I mean, if I play bishop a4, there's knight b2. So I guess I go here. Why am I so slow? Oh my god. Why am I so slow? This is ridiculous. I'm so slow. This is unacceptable. Jeez. I think I have to make a draw. What is that? Oh, now I blunder this too. Fudge. I threw it away. What the heck? Oh my god. What am I doing? I, I could have drawn that 20 times. That was so ridiculous. God. That was so ridiculous. I could have drawn this 100 times. I mean, if I just go bishop c5 and make a draw. The heck was that? Why, why, why didn't I just make the draw with bishop c5? I, w I would not have lost this in the morning TT. E even E3 was fine. Even King F4 was fine. I mean, garbage. Maybe JB shows. Throw it, throw it away for no reason. I mean, I outplayed him the whole game. Why do I have to do that to myself at the end? The good thing is I keep throwing random games against him in events that don't objectively matter. And when it does, I've played well, but... I mean, like, I, I threw a couple of games against him in India for no reason because I was jet lagged. Luckily, Isle of Man, I didn't throw, but that's just so ridiculous there. Like, I literally tell myself, don't get low on time, and then I do the same thing every every, every time in the evening, Title Tuesday. Now I get Gata, of course, a terrible pairing. I have a chance. There are only uh, seven guys on seven and a half. Thank you to Ragnafos for the Prime. That was so stupid, though, by me. There was no need to throw that game. I mean, even a draw would have been fine. Let's play a um, Smith Morrigan, Gambit now. Now it's time to just be stupid and play random. <sighs> okay, let's go for this one. God is old, so I don't think he's going to know the best line against us, or at least I hope he doesn't. D6. The bishop B5, I don't even remember right now. Go here. No need to throw that game. No need to throw that. I would have had great chances still. I was on eight. I mean, if I'm if I'm on eight and he's on eight, if I, if I draw like him, I'm seven and a half. I'm tied for second. So stupid to do that. Just incredibly stupid. Like no no need there. I could have just made the draw. 
Um, okay, goes here. I'll go here. This is also probably not very good, but whatever. Always in the evening, Title Tuesday, I do something incredibly stupid. And the problem is this game, I'm now moving too fast. That's what's also great about this one. I do have Bishop G5, maybe. I don't really want to trade, but I'm going to go for it. Because, like, I don't feel like I'm playing very well. It's also Knight C5. Uh, then he gets b6. Okay. Let's go here then. I'm already misplaying this one too, though. I can feel it. I'm moving too fast now because the previous game I moved too slow. Go here. h6 feels a little bit wrong. This feels, somehow this feels wrong, but I, I can't... So like I, I can sense that it's wrong, but I don't know why it's wrong. I know there's something, but I, there's something here that I'm not seeing. I'm sure of it. I can sense it, but I can't, can't find it. So I'm just gonna go knight h4. If f5, I have bishop c4. Okay, I go here. I mean, now I've got queen h5. I've got f3 and knight f2 also. There's also maybe knight g5. No, no, there's knight f3. What am I smoking? There's also some kind of queen f3s maybe. I mean, I feel like there's something here that I'm not seeing. I can just... I don't know. I feel it, but I, I don't know what it, what it is. I guess I'll just go here. Hit the knight. B3, there's just knight a5. What the heck am I doing? What am I even doing? Well, maybe I've got g4, something really silly. Uh, frigid. I'm just going to go for it. Let's play bishop b3. I'm just going to go for it. Frigid. Let's just go for it. If this loses, this loses. I'm going to try to trap his bishop. I just don't care anymore. Let's take. I'm just going to try to trap his bishop. This is very very much a caveman style of play, but... It was there, but I thought I had f3 here and knight f2 as well. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, let's think for a second. I'm up a lot of time here, so this is where I need to think. c4 looks like a very interesting move, too. Queen f3 looks interesting. I mean, there's so many interesting moves here, but which one is right? Like, I feel like I've got to box the horse from getting here, and then the bishop dies. I think I need to box him. As long as he can't get the horse in, I think his bishop is going to die. Or get trapped, or whatever the proper English words are. As long as he doesn't get this jump, he goes to h5. Okay, so that is what I kind of expect him to do, actually. But I, do I have f3 here, or do I have to take is also a question. I don't really want to take. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, there's also g... Actually, there's also g5. Very hard to figure out what the best move is. But g5, bishop g4 doesn't look right. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. I, I'm guessing there's something that I'm missing, but I don't I don't see it, so I'm gonna go for it. I mean knight f2 is a huge problem. Knight f2 is a big problem. And the knights also guards, so there's no idea. Huh? Yeah, I just win. Check, check, takes. Classic right triangle. Goes here, and then I go check, and I, I beat him with the classic right triangle. 90 degrees. We got the win.
Not easy, but it's a win. Oh, Gandhi Bam only drew his game. Wow. Now I feel like a true... I, now I feel like an actual moron because Gandhi Bam drew his game. Maybe Steak Baby... Or wait, Gandhi Bam lost maybe? Wait. Yeah, now I feel like an actual moron because Gandhi... Because Arjun lost this game. Now I feel like a true moron. Yeah, now, now I feel like an actual total moron for not making the draw the previous game. Ay, ay, ay. Eh. These are Yasuda for the three bucks. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, very, very bad. I'm a moron. Moron, moron. Like Luca Morani, right? From Italy. How many geometrical shapes get used in chess? I don't know. But chess is a very old game. It was invented like 2,000 years ago. Um, so I assumed that back then they were using the ancient maths. Queen A3 was the only move, I thought. But anyway. What is this? Um, but yeah, I mean, chess is so old that probably they, they used all the math that was available at the time. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's all good. Dude, I know you're trying to troll with some, like, copy pasta, but it's not really very funny, dude. Um, okay. So, let's keep moving on. Pyramid of Giza is my favorite. I mean, but the pyramid existed, right? The pyramid existed, like, four years ago. No? I think the pyramid existed. Didn't the pyramid exist, like, four years ago? Am I crazy if he gets a mean and Arjun loses? He has a chance. I don't know what my tiebreak is. My tiebreak is... Oh, God. There's so many people on eight and a half. I am such a moron for not making a draw in that previous game. I am such an idiot. I am an idiot. The Pyramid of Giza was around when chess was created, I think. So it's not shocking. The pyramids all existed four years ago. What? Are you guys trolling me? The pyramid existed much more than that. You need Yasuda for the three dollars. Thank you so much, Yasuda. Did I say four years ago? Wait, I said four. Oh, I said four years ago. Hmm. <laughs> they existed four years ago. Yeah, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Sorry. I, apparently, I said four years ago. Sorry. That's what happens when you've been streaming for like uh, for, for for nearly nine hours. <laughs> That's what happens when you've been streaming for nine hours. You're like, yeah, the pyramids existed four years ago. And it's like, what? What did you just say? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> It's not an inaccurate statement, except that's not really what I was trying to say. So, whatever. All right, I'm, I'm in round 11. Uh, too many guys on eight and a half. Only one of them is a good tiebreaker, of course, Arjun. So, if Arjun... Well, but Arjun draws... I mean, I can't get first. If he loses, someone's going to get nine and a half. But I can still finish strong with a win. Any plans to change the room decoration? Not really. I feel like it's very iconic and classy. You know, it's like... I just, it doesn't feel right to change it, honestly. To me, it doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel right, but I, I don't know. Uh, 3X MasterChef, no, tomorrow I think we're going to watch MasterChef, the final three episodes of season four on kick. Um, so I think tomorrow we will watch the final three. Yeah. But let's see. In the meantime... Do I think XQC can make the Toronto... Oh, okay, whatever, dude. Cool story. All right, next round should be starting pretty soon. Oh, what's this? Do we have El Clasico? No, we've got Rook versus King, so it's over. Last game of the... Here we go. I saw you in Qatar. Awesome, Thai guy. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I get this uh, Iranian IM. Uh, he's on eight and a half, so I play him. The other four guys all play, so... If I win and things go right, I could get as high as third. I don't think I can get second, but this guy's dangerous, right? I think this guy's pretty dangerous, so I'm going to play the French. I could play a Sicilian, but I'd rather play the French. Play this one. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 bucks. <laughs> Okay, bro. Thank you. Uh, they <laughs> okay, I'm trying to play a serious game. Stop laughing. Um, okay, what am I going to do here? Uh, let's play, I guess, knight d7. 
You can tell I'm starting to lose my mind a little bit. Um, let's play 97. That's going to make a great short or whatever. I'm clearly losing my mind completely. Hmm. Yeah, I have to win this game. My tiebreak's very good other than Arjun. Um, take with a knight, maybe. B4 is interesting. I mean, drop back. It's a strange position. I don't understand what he's doing. I mean, in some ways I do, but I also don't. I could have played rook c8 too. Oh, wait, did I just blunt? No, no, wait, I've got knight g6, right? I hit the pawn and I cover d6. Okay, he plays rookie one. I mean, I assume I should probably develop here. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay, bro. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm actually trying to like play a serious game here. Like jokes aside, like this is very serious. A good queen c8. I mean, I think this makes sense to play an end game. I don't know if this makes sense, but I'm gonna go for it. I feel like I'm tired. I, if this guy is very sharp tactically, so I think it makes a lot of sense to just play an end game. That's a free pawn, but maybe not. Ah, he has an idea. Okay, so I don't really want to play h5, but I think I will. G3, okay, but now I can get my knight to D5, and I feel like I'm gonna get a decent chance here, maybe, to win the game. Here, hit the pawn. A5-2, I don't know if it's right. Okay, I'm gonna go A5, try to fix the structure. He has B5, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why I did this, actually. I guess I'll go here to hit the knight. But I do feel like I'm starting to outplay him a little bit. Probably, like, rook c8 to hold everything. And then I can reroute this knight to f5. I, I feel like I'm starting to get more than I deserve. But wait, he goes through. do I go knight f8? Where's knight belong? f5 or d7? Well, this is tough too. A lot of tough decisions in this game for me. Um, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna put this knight on d7. It feels right. There's pressure on a4 now as well. And ah, I missed knight d2. Oh, wait, but I've got this in 95. Still maybe okay. It's not okay, but I'm trying. Trying to find something here. Bishop a3 is not the move that I was expecting, actually. Um, knight a4. Knight a4, knight no, knight a4, rook c4, knight b6. Knight a4, bishop c5, knight dc, knight ac. I think he blundered. I think he blundered, but I'm not sure, but I think he blundered. Because I can take and take, and he's just down a juicer. Yeah, I think he blundered here. I think I'm actually in good shape. Okay, rook f4. I'm going to just take. Ah, I had knight b3, which I think... Oh, knight b3 is probably just winning on the spot. Why did I do this? Okay, but I still I still should win this game. Ah, uh, knight... I think knight b3 is just winning. Ah, why did I do that? Knight b3, I think, was just winning the game, but whatever. He goes knight b4, okay. And now it's going to get very tricky again, of course, because I let him get this knight c6 idea. It's another very tough position to win. Am I going to have to sack an exchange here? I mean, if, if I don't win this game, then what am I playing for? I guess that's the point. Yeah, let's just go for it. I'm going to sack the exchange. 
I'm gonna sack the rook. I'm gonna go king d6. I'm gonna go for it. I mean, if I don't sack the rook, what am I playing for here, honestly? Okay, I have f5. I also have f6. I think f6 is better. With the e5 incoming. I mean, I've got the A pawn to run down the board, too. I mean, I think I start pushing the A pawn. I could have played E5, too, I guess. I think I should play E5 to hit the rook. Maybe A3 was better, too. Okay, how do I route this, though, is the question. Come on, focus. I'm getting into the same pro same problem again. Go here. It's not going to be easy to win this game. I mean, I think I've got to go for some E4 here, maybe. Don't know if this is right either, though. Oh, did I hang A4? Oh, shoot. I just hung the E4. A3, rook A6. Okay, I gotta go here. I guess I go here. Oh, I beat him. Yeah, I've got the checks. Fossil land. There we go. <sighs> Tough game also, but I get the win. Okay, Arjun drew, or Arjun won, which I think is very, very good. Uh, I can get second if these two guys draw. If these two guys draw, I get second. Can this please be a draw? No, it's not going to be a draw because Jose didn't play this correctly. I want it. If this was a draw, I would get second place, but it's not going to be a draw. Oh, wait, there's a, there's, wait, there's a sound, wait, there's a repetition. No. Wait, King F, no. King F4, come on. Go to F4. King F4, no. King F4 was a draw, and I'll tell you guys why. King F4 was a draw, because now if black ever goes B2, here you have G5, which is a checkmate. You go here, 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 and mate. How did Jose not go King F4 and make the draw? I would have gotten second place. Oh, that's upsetting. That's legit upsetting. King F4 is just a draw. Because if black ever goes here, you just check, check, and it's just an easy draw. Just check, check. Yeah, that means I'm going to get third, I think. That's a big bummer. I've got the best tiebreaker, I think, of the nine. So I should get third, but let's see. Jose won? No, Jose lost. No, second would have been really nice after I threw away that game against Arjun for no reason. But well, that's what it is. I should be third, though, on tiebreak. Unless somehow Parham's tiebreak is better than mine. Okay, dog. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Yeah. No, the Parham game, I mean, it's different. But the one against the one against Arjun, I never should have lost. Like, I could have made a draw many different times, and I chose not to. Um. So yeah. Nah, it's not. It's not. It, the, the Arjun one is much, much worse. The payout is 400, 400 bananas. So. Let's see what the standings are. 
he over jose exactly exactly i mean still all things considered considering that like live for like nearly nearly nine hours i'm not going to complain oh we got rook versus uh rook versus arjun wins i think on tie break yeah arjun's tie break is way too good um why would anyone need four more bananas my tiebreaker got cucked in the last somebody somebody did horribly in the last round what the heck how did I lose by that much I lost I was up by two and I lost by two and a half <laughs> who dropped out of somebody dropped out of the tournament in the last round and didn't play who was on my uh who was on who was uh got a lot no somebody somebody dropped out I don't know who it was but someone someone dropped out I think because I was ahead by two and then I lost by like two and a half so that's like a five point swing that's not even just like a two point swing that's a five point swing so got a loss maybe that's what it was but yeah yeah uh so yeah it is what it is that's very disappointing because I actually I mean I play I played I played a good event overall I did I mean I had good positions even the two games I lost I probably would have won them in early TT so not gonna complain about it but it is what it is so